Hold the truck, hold the truck, hold the truck. Let me get him, let me get him, let me get him with both hands. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get your, your float. Just keep walking, keep putting down on this rock right now. No, let's go, let's go all the way. Oh, you're stuck, you're the float's stuck on you. We're good. Let me, let me take my timer. Okay. Put him down like that. He smashed the hook. Look at that. He put any trouble on. Hug. Hang on, anyway. All right, guys. This is the fruits of our labor today, and why the slip cork is so important, especially when used properly, it can be killer on these guys. Shush. There's our lemon of sheepers. Most of them are good size ones too. I lost about four or five good ones too. It's kind of a little mad, but it is what it is, boys. Look at that. See them teeth? Look at that. Do not hook, put put them on the stringer like this if you're using a rope stringer, because they will tear up your rope stringer. This is a cable stringer. It's a 900 pound cable. Yeah, so that's why I use the slip cork at the jetties. We didn't lose any any gear. We were fishing about six to seven foot deep, just on the other side of the rocks. Other people were also catching some sheep's head, but I think we got like three to one bites compared to the people to the left and right of us. They're fishing on the bottom because when you fish on the bottom, the pinfish and the perch, they're more likely to get at your bait. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna use today. And in my opinion, is literally the most versatile rig you can throw especially on the jetties, and that is a slip cork. The float slips up and down your line, and the secret to this, and the most important part, is this right here, your float stop. This particular one is heavy braid and a nail knot. And what this allows you to do, if you, when you're using mono, don't use braid with this particular one, you can adjust it up and down to your depth, and it still goes through your guides easily, so you can fish two feet deep, you can fish 20 feet deep, wherever the fish are holding. And what you can do with it, you stay off the bottom, avoid the, the pesky pinfish and piggy perch, and just fish just on the other side of the rocks to target redfish, trout, sheep's head. And that's what it allows you to do, to adjust to where the fish are and the structure you're fishing. So you're gonna have a float stop. This one's braided again. They have other ones, you could use rubber bands. Rubber bands work good, especially if you're gonna use a braided main line. There's other ones that are like little rubber stoppers there's other ones that are like plastic uh, squares with holes in them and you weave your uh, line in and out of them those work great for braided line that's what Matt's using on his because again our, this nail knot with heavy braid doesn't work with braid because as soon as you cinch it down you can't move it so it's it loses its versatility that you have your stop bead that's smaller down or smaller than the stop but the inner diameter and the outer diameter of course better be bigger than your float that's going to go through if you're using these slotted floats make sure to put some kind of adhesive so that peg doesn't come out because if that peg comes out boom you lose your float with this rig then let's go below the float we have a bead a weight a bead and then your swivel you don't need the beads, but you do definitely need the weight. The weight's what's gonna take your bait down to whatever depth you wanna fish. Then you got your leader line. What I like to do is put a little split shot, maybe six, 10 inches above your hook. And then here, then of course you got your hook. This is an eight size treble, 
in all honesty, you should probably, if you're gonna use trebles, probably use a six or a four. These ones are getting smashed up and bent with these sheep's head, but you know, I got tired of losing sheep's head, so let them swallow it, whatever, we're keeping fish, right? Or you could use a J hook, which is what we have on mats. Uh, anything between a size one to a two watt. Pick your poison, make sure they're sharp, especially if you're going after sheep's head, because their mouths are tough. They got chompers on them. You need to penetrate that jaw so you don't lose fish like I did. And let them eat the bait. What else? If you can, what I like to do, if you can, for this rig, try to make it that your main line is stronger than your leader line. That way, if and when you do get stuck, this is a 100 pound mono because I throw spoons on this setup, but, and then 30 pound line. But if you can, especially when you're using braid, 40, 50 pound braid, go ahead and tie on a 30, 40 pound mono leader. That way, if and when you do get stuck and you gotta break off, Guess what, you're breaking off the leader and all you gotta do is tie on another leader, a little split shot and a hook instead of losing your bead, your weight, your other bead, your float, your other bead, you know what I'm saying? Obviously that's not always possible, but if you can, I recommend doing that. Thanks for watching.